is this a tourist attraction or a transit line? Lindsay and I visited San Francisco back in May. We spent several days exploring the city, especially its impressive transportation system. San Francisco is famous for the cable cars that run on its steep hills. Of course, during our stay here, we rode the cable cars, which was such a great experience. That video will go live soon. But did you know, San Francisco has another transit system that uses historic vehicles. In today's video, we will be riding the F Market and Wharves. The F is a streetcar line that is 6 miles or 10 kilometers long. It uses historic trolleys from all over the world, and you can ride it for just a fraction of the price of the cable car. It was our first night in San Francisco, and after spending several nights on Amtrak, we were hungry. Lindsay insisted on Italian food, so after we found a good place online, it was the perfect opportunity to ride the F for the first time. This is an old PCC car. I love these, they are such a vibe. I'll talk more about them in a little bit, but first, pasta. And an evening view of trolleys rolling by. I can't think of anything better. It's a new day and we're headed to the wharves. The history of the F Market and Wharves is tied to the history of Market Street itself. Market Street is one of San Francisco's most important transit corridors. There has been rail service on this street since 1860, first in the form of horse-drawn cars and then an electric trolley starting in 1906. When BART was being built in the 1960s, San Francisco dug a tunnel underneath Market Street. This tunnel has two levels. The bottom floor is used by BART trains and opened in 1973. In 1980, the San Francisco Municipal Railway, or MUNI for short, moved their streetcar services to the top level of the tunnel. This created MUNI Metro, which we will look at in more detail in our next video. Somewhat surprisingly, the tracks on the surface of Market Street were never ripped out. Around the same time, the famous cable cars, beloved by tourists, closed for some long-term maintenance. To provide an alternative tourist attraction, in 1983, the city launched the Historic Trolley Festival. For several weeks in the summer, a collection of historic trolleys ran along Market Street. This festival was so popular that they repeated it every year. In 1987, they began replacing the tracks on Market Street so that in 1995, the F Market and Wharves could officially open. The F is an interesting service. It's a hybrid between a tourist line and a transit service. See, the cable cars in San Francisco are really an attraction meant for tourists. The tickets are quite expensive, at $8 a piece. The F Market and Wharves, on the other hand, has a dual purpose. Yes, an effort is made to market it to tourists, but it's also a transit line popular with locals. The fares fall under the Muni fare system. You can pay with a clipper card, a ride only costs $2.50, and the $5 Muni Day Pass is valid too. Mm -hmm. 
all the cars we saw during our stay were PCC cars. PCC stands for President's Conference Committee. First built in the 1930s, the PCCs became one of the most popular trolleys in the entire world. Over 5,000 were built. The PCCs make up the majority of the fleet here. The trolleys mostly come from San Francisco, Philadelphia, and Newark, New Jersey. They are all painted in different liveries, all celebrating the different North American cities that used to use these iconic trolleys. The many different liveries make this line a lot of fun. Additionally, there's a fleet of Peter Witt vehicles that Muni imported from Milan, Italy. Finally, they also have a large collection of heritage trolleys from all over the world. Porto, Moscow, Melbourne, Hiroshima, just to name a few. Another cool feature of the F Market and Wharves is that they share their trolley wires with the many trolley buses that run down Market Street. Now we've reached the Embarcadero, San Francisco's waterfront street. In the 1960s, there was a depressing freeway here. Another example of those coastal highway mistakes that stained American cities. I'm looking at you, Lakeshore Drive. In 1989, however, an earthquake forced the freeway to be demolished, and plans were drawn up to redevelop the wharves. In 2000, the F was extended along the Embarcadero. Since it now passes the wharves, the line is called F Market and Wharves. There was a second heritage streetcar line, the E Embarcadero. Unfortunately, the E closed when the pandemic started, and it hasn't reopened since. Today we are transit riders, but we are also tourists. How are they? Very yummy. The F is a great way to visit the many attractions along the wharves. For example, you can go to Pier 39. You can enjoy the shops. You can take in views of the bay and Alcatraz. or you can meet my favorite residents of San Francisco, the sea lions. Furthermore, the wharves offer access to ferries that can take you all around the Bay Area. You can visit the Musée Mécanique at Fisherman's Wharf, or grab lunch at In-N-Out. I love riding in old and historic trains. There's something so cool about experiencing the past and admiring the preservation efforts that go into running this. Especially the atmosphere in these PCCs is so much fun. Thanks for watching today. In our next video, we will explore the much larger Muni Metro network, including the newest subway in San Francisco, the Central Subway. Subscribe to Trains Are Awesome so you don't miss it. We'll see you next time.